so I got the pippin foot over here. I'll show you. And he's full of well, you probably don't want to know. Anyway, uh got my first snare set up here. And you can see as he comes in, I already rubbed my beaver along the trail here. You can see this stick just perfectly, he's gonna put his head up. He's not gonna jump over it. And I don't know if you guys can see there's a partially buried beaver there. There's some inner hanging in a tree for a visual. And on the back side, you probably can't see it. Way back there, there's a second snare. You probably can't see it. So I'm hoping, even if they come in that way, I kind of blocked it off a bit there. They can come in anyway, but my, my goal is that they'll, they're going to just dart out this way or maybe get in there a different way, but dart out this way or dart out that way, which is uh, going to make them get zipped. So hopefully, those snares have been hanging in that tree for, since last year. Uh, I just set them now, so like what I do is I, you can leave them in the tree, but they can't be set, right? Uh, so they would be used to the smell. My dad usually, you see my dad's trucks way down there. He usually has the trail cam and the wolves and coyotes are here almost every night. Uh, and possibly even two bobcats. So we'll see what's what. Uh, so that said, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to take all this with me, take my beaver bait. So even if they get this one and I don't catch anything... Uh, it, it's going to keep them in the area anyway. Uh, down there, a tree fell, so I got to move that snare because I can't use that snare anymore because it, it blocked off my natural trail. So this is pretty naturally set up. I know the the snare is kind of a. I don't know what that sound was, but uh, hope, hope I'm not about to become one. making a lot of noise over there whatever it is uh anyway but i got pippin foot with me so i dare him i dare him. unless it's a moose then okay i don't dare him i'll climb the tree uh but anyway yeah so there's my first wolf and uh, coyote setup for now uh, i'm about uh six eight inches off the ground my loop is about a foot i i'm more likely to catch a coyote but i want uh, you need about a 14 inch loop for a wolf uh, so the way that entrance is there, this has been a natural trail for them for a long time. So they do go in there and now I'm giving them incentive to go in there and guaranteed they're going to be coming back here. My cousin said he heard them howling like crazy the other night. So we'll see, maybe I'll get lucky and I get a couple of, I really hope more wolves and coyotes, but the coyotes are becoming a real problem too, uh, you know, we don't have any gear hardly left at all. So, anyway, I'm going to get my stinky, poor Pippin foot back home. And, uh, yeah. And then I'm going to flush the beaver and call that a day. There we go.